This illustration deals with uh, single phase dwelling services and feeders in accordance with the new section in the NEC 310.12a through D as in dog. And the purpose of the change was to provide a revision. And this revision has been made to clarify that if no adjustment or correction factors are required for services or feeders in a dwelling unit, uh, type 310.12 should be permitted uh, to be applied. Uh, section 310.12a through D uh, has been relocated from 310.15b7 in the 2017 edition of the NEC and revisions have been made. Now let, let's kind of take a look at this. The panel to the left is your service equipment. Uh, the feeder going over to that sub panel is supplied from the uh, dwelling unit service there. Now notice, first of all, the surface is 400 amp uh, before the 83% has been applied uh, per step one. You see that right to the left with the arrow pointing to the conductors. And then the service conductors is 310.12a. Now, if you drop down to the grounded neutral, and the grounded uh, uh, conductor carries the unbalanced current. You know that arrow is pointed to the conduit that contains the uh, conductors. And notice the load is 40 amps, 310.12D is in dog, 215.2 exception one says a neutral could be figured at 100%, whatever it is. And then 220.61 uh, is how we would calculate the neutral. And 230.42 is how we would uh, calculate the service, but 215.2A1 would be how we'd calculate the feeder, but this dwelling unit uh, requirements is, is just a little difference. And if you wanted to see exactly uh, the calculation uh, example, uh, you know, you'd look at the information uh, note 2 to 310.12D is in dog, and it would refer the user to the example D7 in the Annex D. You see that's in a, a call out there that, uh, for you to look at. Now notice that the service equipment, everything is bonded together and connected into earth ground. So the grounded conductor comes in from the service conductors, connects to the uh, grounded bar, all your equipment grounds in neutral connects there, and it's connected to earth, and it's a common bar. But now notice in the sub-panel, you got two bars. One of them is a uh, isolated bar for the neutral, and then the equipment grounding bar is connected uh, and bonded in to the enclosure is 408.40 requires in your call out there, which says dwelling units, sub-panels with overcurrent devices. Then we're looking at 310.12, 408.36, and 408.40, and this is one case where you don't have to have uh, uh, a main there. You could uh, have the main protecting the conductors in the panel here, see, but you couldn't at the service. That's just a sub-panel because you have a main ahead of everything, just like you would have at, a, at the service equipment, so that would be okay. Now, the note one says no adjustment factors, no correction factors. Our voltage drop conditions are involved in the 310.12 A and B rule. Now, number two up at the top, uh, right by the service panel, note two, says apply correction or adjustment factors as necessary as outlined in 310.15 B or C as in car. Now, notice in the calculation boxed in information, uh, we take the 400 amps listed to the left of the service entrance, take 83% of that, and that's 332 amps. So the service uh, would be 332 amps by reducing it down. Then notice uh, in uh, the note 2, calculating the feeder amps, if it was 100 amp, you, which is minimum, you take 83% of 100, and that's 83. And notice here, this could be, in step two, that could be a number four con, uh, conductor, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, if when you do that by looking at your uh, table, uh, 310.12D. Now, to look at the note, it says in the boxed in information, it says the service and feeder amp can be reduced to 332 and 83, respectfully, uh, and use 310.12A and table 310.12 is offered. So we're calculating uh, phase conductors in neutral there, as you see. Now, when we uh, re review the overall uh, area using the table, if you had, say, a 4 alt conductor required by calculation and you didn't uh, apply the 83%, you would just go to the table, and if it was, a, say, a 4 alt, you could uh, uh, one size down to 3 alt, and the 83% is figured in the table. So they wanted to let you know that the utility running these demands and everything uh, on these conductors, uh, supplying a service or feeder or whatever, uh, that the 83% rule was the same thing as just reducing the conductor one size after you sized it here. So whatever size is here without the 83%, you could go to the table and reduce it one size. It's kind of the way I read the table. You read it, look at it very carefully because, you know, we've always been used to the uh, one size below whatever the calculation was using the standard or optional method to determine the service entrance conductors or feeder uh, using uh, this method for dwelling units.